Welcome once again to the Daily Message. Today we observe Tuesday in Holy Week. And I want to call your attention to the passage from the Gospel of John, chapter 13, verses 21 through 33. And I want to offer just a brief reflection on those verses. In these verses, Jesus predicts the betrayal of Judas. And John, the author of the gospel, gives us indications that uh, Judas is about to do something evil. He says that Satan enters into uh, Judas. And he says that when Judas leaves, it is nighttime. Nighttime is that time when evil has sway over the world. Uh, that was the belief at that time. But then curiously, as soon as Judas leaves, Jesus says these words, Now has the Son of Man been glorified, and in him God has been glorified. If God has been glorified in him, God will in turn glorify him in himself and will glorify him very soon. This is a theme in the Gospel of John, that the suffering and death of Jesus are not the moment of his defeat. They are the moment of his glorification. And why is that? It seems odd or even contradictory to think that Jesus' passion and death are the moment of his glorification. And the reason for that is this. It's because Jesus dies, suffers and dies, because he refuses to play by the usual rules. Jesus suffers and dies because of the way that he lived and the way that he loved. Jesus' love for his disciples, Jesus' love for all of humanity is a love that was willing to suffer. It was a, a love that knew no bounds, that would do whatever it took to express itself. We, as followers of Christ, are called to do the same, to love without condition, to suffer for those whom we love. And in so doing, we, just as Jesus, find our glorification by God. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you're having uh, an important and uh, solemn uh, Holy Week observance. Please be safe and healthy and have a good day.